All right, so we're removing the driver's side fender here. And showing you how to do that. There's all these 10 millimeter, little 10 millimeter bolts right through here. This car is missing some. Like I said, I got this car recently. It's been messed with a little bit. And you come under here. Yeah, that right there. See, so it's missing some. Then you have, you can either take that bracket off, well, the brackets have to come off regardless either way. So those two 10 millimeters, way back there, there's a 10 millimeter. Then right here, there's three 10 millimeter studs that connect the front bumper to the fender. See, that one's not even tight. I haven't had this off. This is all stuff I'm doing for the first time to this car. But that's how you remove the fender less than a dozen bolts most all if not all of them are 10 millimeter all right this is what it should look like bumpers dangling on this side <clears throat> less than 10 minutes using basic hand tools got this off now we have access to the bolts to adjust the door need a 15 for the ones attached to the physical door 13s for the ones attached to the body those four bolts right there are what does this. These right here do the front to back. These do here. These right here lean the door side to side. All right, here we go. We're finally ready to mess with the door. What I did here, hopefully I can show it. Yeah. Uh, got two axle straps in the door connected to my hoist here. Yes, that's the wrong bolt for it. My kids lost the nut to the other bolt. Uh, in an attempt to pick this door up as level as possible and ideally I want it to almost like levitate that way I can move it side to side in and out as I need uh, hopefully that works out I'll show you the process as we go through it all right this is the last video for the night everything is snugged down there and if anything, it's in a little bit too far, but I think there's some body damage going on here. <clears throat> Looks like the door has been hit or something because, I mean, look at that. Could have just been sprung or something. I'm not sure, but that's night and day difference compared to what it was. I'm happy with that for being a 20 some year old car, 26, almost old as I am fenders back on gap is amazing all around watch this you can't even fit a piece of paper in there that gap's so perfect perfect i think my kids threw a wrench down in here or a screwdriver down there in the door somewhere and they're playing in here but that's a project for a different day.